Hello everyone, this is the pre-market report video for today 25th June 2024 for the Indian stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Yesterday early morning, Japanese Yen lost against US dollar as it crossed the psychological mark 160 Yen per US dollar which in turn made all the Asian market to trade at least 1% negative. In line with that, GIF Nifty dropped 100 points, hence our Nifty also opened 120 points gap down. However, there was a one very important thing which I failed to notice earlier. Yesterday was Sensex rebalancing. I mean, from yesterday onwards, Adani Ports added as one of the 30 Sensex stocks in the place of Wipro. On top of that, as per Nuama, ICC Bank, Airtel and Infosys expects to increase their weightage. On the other hand, Reliance and HDFC Bank expect to lose some of their weightage. So, yesterday, ICC Bank was the top Nifty positive contributor and Reliance was the top Nifty negative contributor. Other than that, whatever sector that was down last week yesterday increased such as auto and FMCG stocks. So we can say it's just a dead cat bounce. However, there are some news also which backed up the sector increase. I mean, last week both these sectors, auto and FMCG, were down because of weak monsoon. Whereas during the weekend, as per meteorological department, monsoon did started in India. So possibly yesterday it may be just a short covering. In addition, Hero Motors made an announcement that they are increasing their bike price to improve the profit market. Margin. So, Hero Motors share price increased over 1%. So, overall the advanced return ratio was 1 is to 1, meaning yesterday the number of stocks that increased and decreased was the same, which is okay, neither positive nor negative. However, on the negative side, both FII and DIA were net sellers. FII net sold shares worth for 650 crore rupees, whereas DIA net sold for 820 crore rupees. Despite this, both institutions selling, still Nifty ended on the positive note, which is really good. Then moving to US, it's at another bad day for chip stocks. I mean, after Friday sell-off, again last night also profit booking pushed down the Nvidia stock by over 6% and almost all the chip stocks down significantly. However, as per London Stock Exchange Group Fedwatch tool, they are predicting at least two rate cut by this year which kind of supported the market. In addition, rotational buying of value stocks like energies, financials, etc. made the Dow Jones to close all-time high. So, in the end, Dow Jones alone closed positive 0.67%, whereas S&P funded down by 0.31% and Nasdaq crashed by 1.07%. In case of US FIX, it increased 1% and still around 13.5%. Regarding oil, there is not much change, it's same as Friday. At the time of this video, WTA crude trading at 81.5 US dollars per barrel and Brent crude traded at 85 US dollars per barrel. Coming to Indian ADR, except Wipro, all others close to positive. I mean, regarding Wipro's negativity, we already discussed and Infosys increased around 0.5%, which is not much. So, we can say it's IT sector indicating the mixed opening. However, both banks closed more positive than Indian market. I mean, ICC Bank in India, it closed positive 0.98%, whereas in US, it increased 1.5%. Similarly, HGFC Bank closed positive of around 0.3% in India, whereas in US, that further increased to 1.3%. So, clearly, banks looks fresh positive. Then, about GIF Nifty. At 3 a.m. Indian Standard Time, it closed at 23,592. Since now it's only two days for expiry, thus there is a slight or no premium at present, which means it's kind of indicating 40 to 60 points gap up opening. So that's what happened in global market yesterday. Now let's move to India specific. First, about overall macro, yesterday in the aftermarket hours, RBI released the India's current account deficit data. For the financial year FY2024, current account deficit dropped to just 0.7% of GDP compared to 2% in FY2023. 
In fact, in Q4, India got the current account surplus. Please note, not deficit, current account surplus of 0.6% GDP. In the year ago period, it was current account deficit 0.2% of GDP. This macro data is huge positive, especially from FII's point of view, since current account deficit always eroded the currency value, which will be the last thing any investors might want. Then second, it's about Amararaja battery. Yesterday, they said, signed the licensing agreement with some Slovakia firm so Amraraja batteries can manufacture lithium battery with a LFP technology which I personally consider as positive. Let's see how market will react today. As a summary, US market closed mixed and on the negative side, US tech stocks down over 1%. However, GIF Nifty and Bank's area positivity all together indicating more of 40 to 60 points gap up opening. Moving on, as per stock open interest, AU Small Finance Bank, Ramco Cement, Indus Tower, Bosch, HAL, Hindustan Copper and Coforge got an increase in open interest along with a negative close indicates the short buildup. On the other hand, Voltas, India Cement, SBA Card, Sun Pharma and Berger Paints got an increase in open interest with a positive price close indicating the long buildup. Regarding the things to look out, during the market hours, I don't know anything other than European Central Bank people's interview. However, in the night, there are lots and lots of US related macro such as housing data, durable goods order book and CB consumer conference data all are scheduled to release. Coming to technical, as we discussed earlier, Nifty opened 120 points gap down. However, it managed to recoup all its losses and closed positive of around 23,540. Thus, on the daily chart, Nifty formed a bullish candlestick pattern with minor upper and lower shadow. And if we combine the last two days means, it's a bullish piercing line candlestick pattern. Meaning, one day of selling followed by a gap down that ends with a day of strong buying, which indicates that prices have dropped to a level where buyers came back into the market, which suggesting the indication of downtrend reversal. In addition, on the hourly chart, buyers were able to defend around 55 exponential moving average and the hourly momentum indicators RSI and MACD both showing the positive crossover. Hence, the trend is positive for the short term as long as Nifty trades above 23,300. On the higher end, immediate resistance is at 23,600. A decisive move above 23,600 might lead to further upward movement towards 23,800 to 24,000 area. Then, in case of Bank Nifty, it opened 380 points gap down and took the support around 51,200, then increased and closed around 51,700. Thus, on the daily chart, two days combined, Bank Nifty also formed a bullish piercing line candlestick pattern, which indicating a possibility of surpassing 52,000 mark. Hence, the immediate resistance is at 52,000 and once Bank Nifty surpasses this mark, it would likely to go up further towards 52,400 to 52,800 range. Regarding the monthly options data, the maximum call option open interest was at 24,000 strike followed by 24,500 and 23,500 with maximum new call option riding at 24,000 strike and then 24,500 and 23,900. Whereas on the put side, the maximum open interest was at 23,000 strike followed by 22,500 and 23,500 with maximum new put option riding at 23,000 strike and then 23,400 and 23,300. Thus, from options data, 24,000 mark is the resistance to break with immediate support at 23,400 to 23,300 zone. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing to this channel and liking the video. So it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this as I'm not a SEBI ratio advisor. I'm doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.